Hey there, beautiful people. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most common concerns that many people have, which is the different types of tummies and how to get rid of them. We understand that everyone has their own unique body shape, and there's nothing wrong with that. However, if you want to feel more confident and healthy, we're here to help you out. But before we get right in, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications, so you never miss a new video from us. Let's dive in. Number 1. Bloated Tummy Firstly, let's talk about the foods that can contribute to bloating. These typically include foods that are high in sodium, carbonated drinks, and foods that are difficult to digest, such as beans and cruciferous vegetables. While these foods are generally healthy and nutritious, they can cause bloating for some people. If you're experiencing bloating, try reducing your consumption of these foods and see if it makes a difference. In addition to watching what you eat, you can also incorporate certain foods and supplements that can help reduce bloating. According to a 2019 study published in the World Journal of Gastroenterology, Probiotics can be a game changer when it comes to reducing bloating and other symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS. The study found that probiotics significantly improved bloating and other IBS symptoms compared to Placebo, which is great news for those of us looking to ease bloating discomfort. Number 2. Mommy Tummy It's important to understand what causes the mommy tummy. During pregnancy, your uterus expands to accommodate your growing baby. After delivery, your uterus begins to shrink back down to its normal size, but this can take time, sometimes up to six weeks. Additionally, your abdominal muscles may have become stretched and weakened during pregnancy, which can contribute to the mommy tummy. So what can you do to help get rid of it? One strategy is to focus on exercises that target your abdominal muscles, such as crunches or planks. However, it's important to start slowly and listen to your body, as your muscles may still be recovering from childbirth. Be sure to talk to your doctor or a physical therapist about the best exercise plan for you. Finally, research suggests that breast feeding may also help reduce the mommy tummy. A 2018 study published in the International Journal of Obesity found that women who breast their babies for at least six months had smaller waist circumferences and lower BMIs compared to those who did not breastfeed. Number 3. Spare Tire The dreaded spare tire tummy is a common problem for many people, especially as they age. This type of tummy is characterized by excess fat around the midsection often caused by a sedentary lifestyle and poor eating habits. One strategy to get rid of this is to focus on exercise. Research suggests that both aerobic exercise, such as running or biking and strength training, such as lifting weights, can help reduce belly fat and improve overall health. The American College of Sports Medicine recommends at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week for adults along with strength training exercises at least two days per week. Number 4. Stress Tummy According to research, there is a strong connection between stress and belly fat. A study published in the journal Psychoneuroendocrinology found that women who experienced higher levels of stress had more belly fat than those who experienced lower levels of stress. One way to combat stress tummy is to incorporate stress-reducing activities into your daily routine. This can include anything from yoga or meditation to going for a walk in nature. Exercise is also a great way to reduce stress and burn off excess cortisol. Dr. Michael Roizen, a well-known physician and chief wellness officer at the Cleveland Clinic, suggests incorporating more magnesium into your diet. Magnesium has been shown to help regulate cortisol levels and reduce stress. Foods like spinach, almonds, and avocados are great sources of magnesium. Women's Health magazine also suggests getting enough sleep and practicing deep breathing exercises to reduce stress levels. Number 5. Beer Belly 
Research has shown that alcohol can have a significant impact on our waistlines. When we consume alcohol, our bodies prioritize metabolizing it over other nutrients. This means that any food we eat alongside our drinks is more likely to be stored as fat, particularly around our midsection. But that's not all. Alcohol can also increase our appetite, leading us to consume more calories than we normally would. And let's not forget about the empty calories in alcohol itself. A 12-ounce beer can contain anywhere from 100 to 200 calories, and a single margarita can pack up to 500 calories. So, how can we avoid developing a beer belly? One obvious solution is to reduce our alcohol consumption. This doesn't mean cutting it out entirely, but rather enjoying it in moderation. The American Heart Association recommends no more than one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. Another way to combat beer belly is to make healthier choices when it comes to our drinks. Opting for lower calorie options like light beer or wine can help cut down on our overall calorie intake. And if we do indulge in a cocktail, choosing a lower calorie mixer like club soda instead of sugary juice can make a big difference. There you have it. We hope that you found this information helpful. Let us know in the comments which type of tummy you have and which tips you're going to try out. And as always, stay positive and keep striving towards your goals.